guys, as promised, we're gonna do a quick walkthrough of the store, so follow me inside and we'll get started. We're an artisan market here in Traverse City, Michigan. We primarily work with local artists who hand make everything in our store. As you can see, we have a very large variety of products in our store. Even just starting with the artwork that you'll find all over the walls, we do make a lot of products ourselves. So kind of in the front of the store, we've got our entire candle line. We do have a screen printing workshop in the back and we're trying to get set up so that later this year we can start making our own clothing. Um, as of right now, all of the clothing that we have that's in the front is all designed in-house by Brad. Another product that we make and design right here in-house are our candles. We will have a larger variety of apothecary goods later this year as well. This is one of my favorite areas in the entire store. We talk about how in our old location we didn't have windows and now with our giant windows, all of the natural light comes directly right to our front table. We've got a really good amount of pottery up front. However, we do switch up the store about every week. In a recent video, we spoke about how we built all of our display pieces ourselves. Right when you walk in the front of the store, our door is right against the wall. So the first thing we wanted people to see was not just items that could be hung on the wall, but physical smaller products that we could build up from the floor. We decided to build some really thin shelving that would kind of sit closer to the wall, but also build some height. Our most recent build is one of the largest pieces in our entire store. We've always really struggled with this weird corner that we have. We used to have a lot of tables here and it would kind of cut the store a little weird. So we decided to go with a taller shelf that is completely made out of gas pipe and construction lumber. We keep the majority of our apothecary goods here. Of course, this has changed quite a bit. We tried to keep finer art items up on the top, so we have hand turn bowls and some framed prints, but for the most part, this has been a really fun area for us to be able to redesign over and over. As you guys know, our store is still closed due to COVID-19, and one of our most popular categories for shipping during this weird time has been our dry goods. We have a really great variety of tea, chocolate, coffee, and hot cocoa. Our dry goods are all still handcrafted locally, and some of them even source from local farms. Being an artisan market, we do work with a lot of local artists who either do like acrylic painting or watercolors. We have a very large amount of cards and prints in the store that you will see along this back wall and just starting with cards here. We talked in a previous video about how we bought out a few of our local hardware stores from all of the white and brown wood they had. This was one of the walls that we actually could not complete. And if you've watched our renovation video, you would see that the walls were pretty beat up. So we needed a way to be able to cover this wall and this actually didn't come to us until months after we were already open, but we found that this was a nice way to build up, you know, cover the whole wall and add some color as well. We try really hard to keep the store a good mix of men's and women's products. I've worked in retail for a very long time and I've found that it's really easy for stores to over-focus on primarily women's products and we wanted to be sure that we could kind of avoid that and combat it. So we do our best to have a really good mix of products in the store. That being said, a huge part of our product line is women's jewelry. that carry a lot of products in our store. We've tried to limit how many different artisans we have selling jewelry so that we can expand on the ones we do have. Our styles and price points vary quite a bit in this category. You'll be able to find anything from costume to fine jewelry. As an artisan market, we were constantly getting in new products, so we wanted to keep this video quick. We hoped you enjoyed the tour. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.